Holmes the Tourist here. In my last video I was explaining uh, how to get your logos under your rear wing and um, yeah, this by doing it with the projection method called line with camera. The exact same method uh, is used to wrap patterns or stuff like camouflage here around your different parts of the vehicle and make it match between the edges. It's also helpful uh, to wrap logos or other decals uh, around different parts of your vehicle which are actually uh, switching between top side and front side for instance. You can see that here on the Jaguar or where the thin line is running from the top side from the bonnet uh, to the front side and to the uh, left side of the week. In this example you see that uh, I matched the type, um, the line of the uh, windscreen here. So people keep asking me, hey, can you do some decals which are like bent downward? You don't need that uh, if you know about this method, right? So with that said, um, you get an idea that if you don't use a line with camera, you are missing out on, I would say, at least 50% of the potential of Gran Turismo's library edit. So with not much further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, first. We are creating a decal which like, uses the standard default method align with surface. Alright, creating a decal using an opacity rectangle so it helps to see the difference easier later on that one yellow keep in mind that the standard default method is called up yellow for the align with camera method we are going to use the exact same decal um, giving it another color maybe blue here um, so it helps you to see the difference better let's see if we get a matching You already noticed that there's a slight bend down in the uh, default method and uh, a more straight line visible on the align with camera method. So, um, yeah, how to explain? Mm, well, the uh, default method is trying to uh, wrap your decal around the body of the car, like flowing it around it like a piece of uh, clothing uh, the align with camera method is projecting the decal in a straight line so uh, it's the, the camera angle you, you picked in the beginning is the start point from uh, where the decal is projected so it's pretty much straightforward punching through everything of the vehicle so if you uh, go uh, a rounded corner it will automatically appear like it's elongated even if it's not it's just the projection angle of the decal let's try this on another part of the vehicle maybe this time we're picking a round shape so regular method yellow align with camera method we're coloring it blue. Okay, that seems to match. On the first glance, it looks like they are absolutely exactly the same. So, if you zoom in, it's hard to see the difference. As soon as you start moving it around, you will see that they behave totally different. You see that at some point 
the decal gets cut off. This is due to the uh, restricted uh, depth limit and angle limit. So let's raise that. Yeah, both to 10. Let's move those back to another position on the exterior. Here you can see perfectly what I meant when I said the decal is trying to flow around the car. So uh, while the blue decal is more behaving uh, like a, yeah, a, a solid, I don't know, block of color which uh, punches through the car, the yellow one, which is the normal method, is trying to flow around. Um, yeah, the curvature. Um, at the end, we are looking at one more example how a line with surface and a line with camera are different from each other by placing a, a decal next to the edge of the uh, windshield. Aligning, well, the, the, the type perfectly, uh, we uh, need to do a totally different approach. So we pick front, uh, pick a uh, line with camera, obviously, and move the crosshairs up to the edge of the windscreen and trying to get that uh, horizontal line directly matching with that edge. All this looks kind of good and let's go ahead and pick the same decal. We are stretching it out and screwing it down because of yeah, the incorrect height. Uh, once again you only can do that stuff with decals which yeah allow screwing. Yeah, I think this example makes it very clear uh, why you actually can't work with the library editor without knowing this method. But as I said, this is just one example of many. And yeah, if you don't use it, you are missing out of 50% of the game or the game's uh, editor, of course. Hey, that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Have a good one and see you next time. Bye bye.